It is the first day of fall, and with the rainy season yet to come, water managers are wondering if this will be a wet or dry year, and there's really no way to predict it. But the city of Antioch is resting easy. They've just employed a new technology that promises a secure water future, and it's all thanks to the city's past. John Ramis explains. When it comes to drought, we tend to have a short memory. Once it starts raining, it's out of sight, out of mind. But the city of Antioch had a unique opportunity, and they've constructed one of the most innovative water plants in the Bay Area. When Marcus Woodland enters the newest addition to the city's water treatment plant, he's looking at what other cities may have in their future one of the first operating desalination plants in the Bay Area. The water comes from the Delta, a mix of fresh and salt water called brackish. Upon arrival, the water is sent through the normal treatment process. It is clean and filtered water. It just has a lot of salt in it. So we pump that from a plant all the way up to here. This is a first stage booster pump. This pumps it into the top, which is the first stage membranes. Reverse osmosis pumps the salty water under high pressure through membranes with tiny holes that only water molecules can pass through. Half of it will be discharged as clean drinking water. The other half will go down to this booster pump, which goes to this bottom, and that has 17 vessels. That'll recover about half of the, the water that goes in there. Half of what goes in there will become drinking water, and then the other half will be disposed at Delta Diablo, which is the wastewater treatment plant. From there, the salty brine is released back into the delta. The plant cost about $100 million to build, but the power costs for the huge pumps, coupled with the cost of raw water, makes the process cost prohibitive for most cities. That's where Antioch's history tips the scales. The city, nicknamed Rivertown, was established in 1849 as a river stop for the gold rush. Because of that, Antioch enjoys primary water rights from the Delta, meaning they don't have to pay for the water they take from it. This is the water treatment plant intake. Stan Davis began working as a city engineer in 1969. He retired nearly 30 years ago, but even then he says the city was already considering desalination as a water source. Well, it's the only city in the area that can do that. We had the only water rights in the area to begin with, and now we've got the ability to use the water all year and not just part of the year. I think it's great. It's, it's good to have that backup there for the additional quantity of water when the water out there is not that good. Since it opened last week, the plant has been running 24-7, pumping out about 6 million gallons of fresh water per day. It has the potential to supply 40% of the city's water needs, and Woodland thinks with construction costs going up, it only makes sense for other cities to begin planning for desalination now. So this would have been more beneficial a couple years ago, um, but everything's cyclical, so it was dry once, it'll be dry again. What point does it make financial sense for them to invest the money? Are they gonna wait till they run out of water before they start seeking alternatives? Or are they going to see on the horizon that, you know, alternative water supplies are going to be needed, so let's start the infrastructure now. Just like the famous quote, the Bay Area is surrounded by water, water everywhere, nor any a drop to drink. But not in Antioch. They understand that waiting for a drought to happen is the wrong time to be investing in the future. So the desalination plant is used in the summer and fall when water flows from the rivers are low, allowing salt water to push up into the delta. So the rain begins falling, the water becomes fresh again, and the plant can be taken offline.